Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, for our number talk, we are looking at the fraction 5 16th, deciding is it closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. So one way that we can think about this here is to really look at our denominator, 16, and rewrite these fractions, or these numbers, as 16ths. So how do we write 0 as 16ths? Well, 0 is just the same as any fraction that has a 0 in the numerator, so I can make the denominator anything I want to. So 0 16ths is going to work. And then how can I rewrite 1? 16 over 16, because 1 whole is equal to any fraction that has the same numerator and denominator. So this 5 definitely doesn't feel like it's going to be close to that 16 16ths, but we need to rewrite 1 half as 16ths right? So we could either do this, we could say 1 half times something equals 16, right? So 2 times what makes 16? That's going to be 8. So that means we're going to multiply by 8 over 8 because you want to keep it as an equivalent fraction. You're basically multiplying it by 1, just making it look different. So that's the technical way if you want to use the algorithm. Or you can just say, you know, what's half of 16? Half of 16 is 8. Boom, there's my fraction, 8 sixteenths. So now I've got at least the ballpark. Okay, I know it's not going to be closest to 1. It's somewhere in between here. But how do I choose whether it's closer to 0 or whether it's closer to this 8 sixteenths? Well, let's break this fraction down into smaller parts. Now, hopefully we know that half of a half is a fourth. So what I want to do is I want to break these into fourths. So I'm going to rewrite this as 0 fourths. I'm going to break that half into a half and say that's 1 fourth. 1 half is also 2 fourths, also 8 sixteenths. 1 half has a lot of equivalencies. And then if we want to finish out, we can say that's 3 fourths. Now, this 1 fourth is my dividing line. So if my 5 sixteenths is more than that, then it's going to be closer to 1 half. If it's less than 1 fourth, it's going to go smaller than that, but they're different denominators. So once again, let's change this fourth into sixteenths. We can do it two different ways. Here's the algorithm. You multiply. 4 times something is going to make your target denominator of 16. 4 times what? That's 4 times 4. We have to know our facts. Whatever your denominator is, your numerator is, you just multiply straight across. 4 sixteenths. So 1 fourth is the same is 4 sixteenths. Or you could have said 1 fourth is half of a half. What's half of 8? Half of 8 is 4. Boom, there's your numerator. So either way works. So now I know where this goes. Could Take a look. My 5 is just going to be a hair above that 1 fourth. So it's actually just barely closer to 1 half.